in the in the context of great tribulation and challenge. So Krishna returned to Dwark after he he stayed back for Kunti for some time, and Yudhisthira Maharaj ruled the world, and he's Dharma Raj. World, just Sri Mad Bhagavatam describes the incredible spiritual, social, environmental, economical um, uh, prosperity of this planet. And Sri Lopal writes, it wasn't just because Yudhisthira Maharaj was ruling; it's because Yudhisthira Maharaj, how he ruled, he loved every. Every one of his citizens, in every species of life, what to speak of, what Varna or Ashram, a human may be, he loved them and cared for them as his own children. This is not my kingdom. This is Krishna's kingdom, and everything in this kingdom is Krishna's property, and everyone in this kingdom is Krishna's child. And Krishna has entrusted me with this responsibility for the physical, emotional, and spiritual upliftment and happiness of everyone. Because Yudhisthira Maharaj loved all the citizens and expressed it with such a sense of responsibility, all the citizens loved their king. And when all the citizens loved the king. And they see how the king loves all the citizens. Then naturally, all the citizens love each other. That's mathematically consistent, I think. <laughs> That is ideal leadership. And Maharaj Yudhisthira, he's considering every one of his citizens as a child of Krishna in his care. And in this way, he brought justice to the wicked and protected the innocent.